this week, I'm joined by previous guests Bree and Joe to discuss Netflix's Stranger Things 4, Part 2. I'm Chad, and you're listening to the 63rd episode of We Used to Talk About This at Work. All right, so very different format this week. It's just going to be Stranger Things Part 2, Season 4. Um, we're going to do three segments. We're going to do um, bef- our, our, um, our thoughts on the show before we watch Episode 8, or is it 7? 8. 8. Um, our thoughts on Episode 8, and then our thoughts on the series as a whole, three different segments. Anything you guys want to say before we jump into it? Thank you for having me back. Yeah. <laughs> I've been thinking about that a lot, Joe. And it's like, you've been on like every episode this month, the past couple of months. So look at you. I'm like an honorary cast member. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, any thoughts before we jump into this, Brie? I'm just ready to discuss my feelings. Ooh. I mean, she's excited. All right, so we're all together. We haven't watched the show yet. Joe, what are your predictions for Stranger Things 4 Part 2? Uh, I think Eleven is going to become like either die or become part of the Mind Flayer, uh, Fle- or Veska, Vesk- whoever you want to call them right now. Mind Flayer? Yeah, oh, all, okay. all the same. In my, okay, okay. Yeah. So either she's going to lose this big battle and become part of him, and everybody will go, oh, how are we going to do this next season without her? Um,. I think uh, Steve. I think Steve got the hiv right now, so he might actually die too. You know, you don't get bit by weird bats from across the other dimension and don't don't die. Um, and then my next prediction is, if it's not one of them that dies, it's what not, do you mean by that? Some, well, uh, either eleven, her losing the same thing as death, and or Steve because he got bit by a, a weird bat from the other dimension from the upside down. <laughs> but my next prediction is that uh. Michael is going to do something stupid, like trying to jump in the way of something. Like, no, take me. Don't take 11. And then he'll die. Or Will, because I think Will's going to come out and say, Mike, I love you. And then go for a kiss, and Mike's going to like tap him on the nose. Like, no, we don't do that. All right, so I'm going to go backwards, because I think Will or Mike might die. Okay. I agree with that. And I also don't trust Brenner. Something going on with Brenner. I can see that. I mean... It's very clear, like, he's been, like... I feel like his intentions have been clear. Like, I'm just trying to experiment on these kids, you know? I'm trying to make like some super soldiers. I bigger going on with Brenner. Like, this man been in an underground bunker hiding from the government. I saw, like, in the show, like, he's got calls to be, like, concerned. Like, when they raided the house. Well, yeah. And, like, they definitely came through with the choppers. Like, yeah. Looking like a cash yeah, so, money video I mean, so I feel like it, there, it, that is a valid, like, concern. Like, to yeah. where you probably shouldn't be you know, around. You're just, just, just trying to get your foot back in the, in the military. That's all you're trying to do. Trying to get that <laughs> check. You're sitting at home, living on their retirement, and the funds ain't what they used to be. Ain't, ain't where it's at. Facts. Um, okay, my other predictions are... So I still think the Mind Flayer and Vecna are separate because oh. Dustin ain't been lying. And he pointed this out specifically. Okay. That Vecna was a soldier for the Mind Flayer. And then my last one is that some kind of way L and one are connected because he killed everybody. Well, I think he, I think he loved per- pedophile personally. <laughs> I mean, he felt, he saw himself in her like isolated and stuff. Well, that's and every kid like, that's there. Though. I know, right? Not really. Cause like they like form like little clicks. But how did he see himself in her? Cause he was just already crazy. Like, but she wasn't crazy. And then she was just powerful. Right. He saw her mm-hmm. as an outcast. I think he saw her as the same, I, think, I think same, I think way, the same way Elvis was looking at Priscilla. I'm not, way. <laughs> I'm not saying that there's not anything else going on. You know, those other kids, they like form little cliques. They like had their little gangs and like she didn't have any little friends. So it's always some older guy trying to be some sick, weird perv with these little girls. I just think L is the only person that he knows is stronger than him. So he didn't take her out on purpose. I don't think he knew that at first though. I think he thought like, oh, this, you know, whatever, I got her. And then when she just launched his ass into that that mirror or whatever, he was like, "Oh shit, hold on, this motherfucker got a little little kick." I think he knew. He like, I ain't, I wasn't gonna smack her at first, but now I might have to. I think. He I knew. also think that between a whole room and the little uh, kids, they should have been able to overtake him after he killed the first kid in the room. Yeah, 
Yeah, I yeah, I a hundred percent agree. Somebody should got a wig. I guess the old girl from season two. Is, well, that they, I, 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 um, got that. Not that I, uh, <laughs> I think Tambay. that happened before all that. Her escape. Yeah, okay. and, and the other ones too. Okay, I would think that that would have happened before. But I didn't this. see a lot of female presence in the yeah there yeah, at all. Yeah. Like it, like it's like a bunch of dudes in eleven. Yeah, but at the same time, you're not supposed to know if they female or not. They gender neutral in there. Because uh, of the shaved head. Yeah, y'all got shaved head and nah, big old you, you, Jada Pinkett got a shaved head. You still know that's a woman. I don't care what you say. <laughs> yeah, but they like eight. Something that just tells you, right? <laughs> so yeah, I think uh, I think some kind of way he knows something about ill that you know everybody else knows. Like Brenner knows, but he like I need to keep her on my side because he purposefully tried to turn her against him. That's true. And he knew she was strong enough to get that little piece out of his neck and, mm-hmm. all, and all of that. I feel like anybody could have just... Yeah, he just had his mind on the side to do that one. Yeah, just pulled that out. I mean, y'all yeah, say that, and then he walk, came through and killed everybody, so... I know. Mm. Uh, yeah, like like you said, I want repercussions for Steve being bit by those upside-down bat That's, creatures. Yeah. Like, you shouldn't walk away from that. Like, you should turn into a creature yourself. Or, or like, I either I pledge allegiance to the to the mind flare. You pick one. Yeah, yeah. Um, I want a substantial death to uh, a season one kid. Not any no, of these I agree. new people. No, I agree. No, I, I think I actually agree. all the new people need to stay because they've given the show new life. I agree, and like my my issue with this show is like they bring in so many new characters every season, and. Like who have they really killed? Billy? Who else? Does it? I, I mean, yeah, well, that and half of Hawkins, because you know. Well, you know what I mean. You <laughs> know what I mean, like the fact that like, almost like uh, Ivan News and um with the uh, Power Rangers <laughs> one, just parents just jump to their doom. <laughs> just you know, just fall into little goops and kind of roll into each other real quick. <laughs> Characters with lines. <laughs> <laughs> So it's like we we just keep expanding this cast, and it's just like. Well, it's, it's not that much of an expansion. It's not much of an expansion though. Like it was two characters. With every we got two characters last season. We got two characters this season. Uh, we got that. Um, I can't even remember his name. The guy that we got my spirit animal. You know the, the hippie stoner dude. Yeah, mm-hmm. that guy. And then uh, I guess there aren't any other new kids for real, for real, because they killed that cheerleader. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, the the basketball team. Yeah, okay, I can give you that because old dude was definitely just overly aggressive. Yeah, and like that's my third thing. Like, I really want Lucas to be the one to take him down. I do too. I think any Lucas to uh, talk about uh, old boy's privilege or how you think he was gonna run the towel and kill whoever you know you looking for, and ain't nothing gonna happen to you. I mean, but also he he did that thing that is just like so successful even in real life. He he touched on that religion. Yeah, I know. So yeah. it's like you, you touch on their religion in a small town, well, you go. It's almost like you have a script and you know what words to say, and you know what I can kill whoever I want to and get away with it, as long as I read the script prior. Yeah, basically, just hit those points. So yeah, like uh, yeah, yeah, but whole, yeah, yeah, the whole basketball team ready. Like, I would imagine the football team ready to rile behind. The, you know, let's go get them. Yeah, basketball yeah. team like Lucas should like uh, you the point guard, but I don't want hitting these shots, <laughs> dog. He ain't, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I, I was thinking about like Will saying he was gay, and it's like this show still set in the nineteen eighties, right? And so like, we can't. It's like it's like one one of those things like when you you knew a kid growing up and you knew he was gonna be gay when you grew up. That's Will. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm just saying like I I feel like he wouldn't use that language. No, he's not. He no. would. I don't even think he would try and kiss him. But I I feel like he will in some one way or another let. Mike know that he likes him more, more than, than just, just a friend. A friend. Yeah, like yeah. you remember whatever that painting is that he not showing everybody. It's some. That's, yeah. that's a declaration of love. Yeah, yeah it's gonna be like I a, agree. A picture of Mike naked. <laughs> I painted this from memory <laughs> from when we used to take baths together. That's another reason why I think Mike gonna be the one to die because you know his connection with L and, and Will. Will and he's like and he's, the, he's like the glue. He's yeah. also in a weird the way. biggest male star from the show. And he's been like fading really? out this season, low key. Who else? I like Dustin way more. Are you seeing them in other projects? That's what I'm saying. Oh no, no. That's what I'm saying. He's the biggest male star from this from this series. I, I, I feel you. He, he got Ghostbusters. He did. He did decent in um, it. Well, yeah, I yeah, he was in it, but he was in it. That's yeah, what I'm saying. I, I, like, I like the original. I was like, yeah, I'm good. I don't need the remake. So it's really good. I'm, I'm sure part two's not. But part like, two wasn't good in the first, in the original. <laughs> 
So it's like he's the biggest star. So I could see him like being kind of over it. Like, yeah, I like hanging out with these people, but like, I don't want to do this anymore. So it would make the most sense for him to leave. No, nah, he didn't go ahead and knock out that last season. Ain't no point in you leaving. Yeah, you might season. as well take that, yeah. that money. It was, why would you leave the last season of one of the biggest shows? This, this possibly could be the biggest show of your career, possibly. Yeah. I mean, like you was there from the many, beginning. Why would you leave the many, last? Many, it's happened many times before. Yeah, I, I get yeah. that, but those usually but more we established. Need, we still need a. I would oh, like a big deal. I feel you. Like you know, and it's like there's stuff attached to it if you kill Will. There's stuff attached to it no matter who you kill. Honestly, I, I mean, yes. except Lucas. Well, Lucas I, is black. So I know. That's that's, I mean, he, he's safe because because. And I'm <laughs> saying, as a result, Will is safe too. You can't like that's. Are that's you saying whole, he's safe because of the LGBTQ community? You can't do that. Dang. Eleven Boy, is white like people put themselves in the worst position in TV and, uh, and media as a whole. Y'all gotta die all the fucking time for the rest of I, fucking I, humanity. Like, Y'all like, not, not even saying because she's a girl, but eleven. This is her show. Yeah. yeah. And so it's like, who Which, else is left? Like, Nancy, who who is definitely could be on the chopping block. She's, I mean, we could do without Nancy though. We could do we it. Could. We could do without anybody. We really honestly. Yeah, we could do without anybody but L. Right. Yeah. Who, whose phone is going on? Probably mine across the way. That's why I threw it over there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's why they bring it over here with me. I just knew somebody. Just... <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. So I'm fine with with uh, Mike. Not Dustin. Not Dustin. Not Dustin. Uh, it, but Dustin would be the most, I think, powerful death. Like as it far would. as like fan, like fan and reaction. You would get yeah. people like actually crying. Yeah. Kind of like when died. Glenn died and Walking Dead. Right. Right. Which was like that's that's the reason why it's the greatest death of TV history right there. When I say I saw grown men crying, and <laughs> when I went to the, I used to, I was watching in the movie theaters in the Moolah back then. When I saw a grown man crying because Glenn, died, I said he's a fictional character. <laughs> they, they just they just resonated with him so much. How he was hiding most of the season. He was he was quick on his feet. I give him that. Yeah. I, I guess that's all you need to be in the zombie apocalypse. Quick, he wasn't quick enough. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. all it took was a swing of a bat and. <laughs> He ain't had to shoot his kneecap out first or nothing. Just a swing of the bat got that one gone. But yeah, uh, any other things before we watch these episodes? We should have got Domino's instead of pizza just for the, the uh, Stranger Thing boxes. That's that's all I got. What are you talking about? They have a promotion with Domino's? Yeah. yeah. I don't watch commercials. I mean, I typically oh, yeah, don't be you watching don't commercials just, like that I, either. I, but I, I they got you know, How did you know? Probably saw it on the internet. Probably saw it on the internet. Hey. I probably ordered Domino's in the last <laughs> few months. <laughs> Like no, they got like retro style boxes and everything for Stranger Things. I got, I have a very small bubble. It's YouTube where I don't see commercials. It's Reddit, and it's like some Instagram. Yeah, I don't. I I I, I can't tell you. I, I just fall into new news. I feel you. So I did not know they had a promotion. Ooh, do they do like toys like uh, no, Happy Meals? No toys. What the no. Damn, where are you? Where are you barely, McDonald's barely want to get those toys now. <laughs> Barely. That's fair. I'm just saying for the promotion. They we, get get the nerds to come out and buy your toys. That, 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 that we used to have that every at every fast food restaurant you would go to. Once upon a time, everybody used to have toys. Now it's just just McDonald's. Burger, and sometimes Burger King. No, Burger King don't do toys no more. Oh. Uh, I don't think. Uh, I think. Game. I think Sonic is the only other place that randomly do like some kind of paperback or some weird. They don't need real toys. No, 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 no nobody really want. All right, so we just watched episode eight, 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 Thank eight, you. eight. So we just watched episode eight, Papa of Stranger Things, and uh, Bree, what did you think of it? Um, I thought it was cool. There wasn't a lot that happened. You know, Joe said it set us up for the last episode. I'm glad Papa did. I'm gonna just throw it out there. Yeah, fuck him. You know, I'm glad. Um. Will express his feelings indirectly. Well, indirectly I knew that was coming. Us. Well, I was waiting on that. I'm like, boy, Will about to start crying in a second. That boy got in that back and was boo-hooing. <laughs> Looking like Red from Friday. I know he's going to cry in the car. <laughs> it, um, it, was, it was some ugly crying. And yeah, then, was, like, was, Mike going to look to the side like, like I don't, don't know what's going on. Like, see no evil, hear no evil. Damn right, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Mike's supposed to do. What, 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 like, in real life, what was Mike supposed to do? Homie over there sitting there like, you know I love you. Look at this heart I drew on the shield for you, homie. I love you. That's why you lead us. Knowing you you you, you L's bitch in real life. But we ain't gonna talk about that. I mean, they they did talk about how basically he's in L Shadow. I mean, everybody's in L Shadow. Yes, yeah. yes, so. yes. Including uh, Vecna. 
I mean, Beck, I think he's Beck, there. Beck, Beck, Beckner making moves, all right? Yeah, Beckner, moves. Beckner doing things L could never. Well, I mean, he been sitting there dead for, you know, who knows how long. He ain't got no skin no more. He just, just yeah. raw. Just raw. Just, yeah, just out he, there he hitting, really hit, raw dogging with the world. Right. <laughs> Hit, hit, getting people them anime vibes, uh, hentai, hentai vibes and shit. Well, let me toss my little tentacles out here and <laughs> all over your face, baby I girl. Mean, That's literally what yeah. he's been doing. Yes. You got so, that dress on, tentacles. Uh, It was cool, though. It was cool. I think, you know, the upside down finna just be the right side up for season five. Oh, I see. Um, Okay. Okay. Um, Joe? It was like, it was long, but it wasn't long at the same time. Yeah. Like you know, as we were saying a second, it wasn't the Batman. Um, I'm cool with it so far. Uh, like it doesn't happen though. Like yeah. other than like you know, we see the military shooter snipers ain't really that that, that great a shot. <laughs> hey, that was kind of trash. Like, like they he got, really missed three times. You got the man dead dead in your sights, and you like, all right, I, I'm about to shoot Papa. I shot the ground. Hold up. I mean, let me readjust. All right, I'm about to shoot Papa. I shot by his foot. Hmm. <laughs> I ain't missing none of these nurses that came running out though. Right. But the, but the motherfucker holding his kid, I, I can't I can't seem to hit him. I'm gonna graze his shoulder real quick. Oh, and I don't like the Papa ending scene. Like he just should have been dead. Yeah, Papa over here giving like a that. whole speech and yeah. shit. Yeah. The, the dying wish is a real thing though. You got, I don't like that L didn't get to kill him. Yeah, L 100 <laughs> percent should have killed him. Yeah. Like the way that their last real interaction ended. With him drugging her, that's all. That's total cause for her killing him. Yeah, until and then he then he carried her so across the threshold. You wouldn't have had to do that if you didn't drug her. That's yeah, she tried to cross the threshold herself. You you're right. She could have. Right, but you can't do that when you Bill Cosby somebody. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I don't know. I watching this watching this episode. It was hard to disconnect in my mind that. This is just the end of the season and not like a new, new season. Because yeah. that that that, week, that wake will make you that wake will make you do that. That whole month and it's like, don't do this next season. Oh, we'll get we'll talk about all that after we watch this last episode. But watch next season gonna be three episodes. <laughs> They're gonna be two hours each. But like my thing's like, when they made this season, I'm curious. Did they know that they were going to show the last two with such a gap? Because the way that this episode before the finale is just like a this is fine just instead of instead of like the high of episode no, six, six no. where that's an episode that you have before finale. Yeah, where, no, so I'm you. guessing like that's probably this was the plan the whole time. Well, maybe not because remember this was supposed to be it, and then they were like it was just too much for us to get fit in season four, so now I have to see that. Have season five because this was supposed to be it, right? But this was I just such a like a this is a whatever. But like usually, like in a lot of shows, like the episode before the finale, you like I got to turn this on right now, and, and that what we just saw was not it. I what? I would have been fine if we would have been like, hey, let's pick this up in like a couple of days because it's like there's nothing like making me excited to watch this next stuff. I know this is probably gonna be a good episode, but like the way it ended, it's not anything to just make me be like, well, let's go. Well, they was hoping like just off the hype of you having to wait. Yeah. That this that you, and you know, they're not expecting us to sit here and take a break in between episode eight and nine either. They're expecting, it's the excitement that you know this was two and a half hours long, and it's, this is it. Right until yeah. next year, I, maybe two years. Maybe two I, years. I just, I just don't feel hype right now. Is what I'm saying. I mean, I, the only the hype that I feel is because like I'm like, yeah, let's do this, guys. Yeah, yeah not, but not like, oh man, because of the show. Because yeah. that, 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 that last episode, like I said, nothing happens. Very lackluster of an episode. It's setting up a lot it's, of things, but also shouldn't this season have set those things up? It's kind of like uh, I'm not sure if either one of you guys ever watched uh, let, uh, Seven Deadly Sins. Mm-hmm. But they had a, um, they had I think in between season one and two they had like a a, a two episode or like a three episode like mini series that had nothing to do with like any- Euphoria. Uh, no, not like that. Okay. It was it was it was like, like a movie that did not have to take place. Like nothing nothing of the of the events made anything that, that connected the other the, the two seasons, which was weird because they, they counted it as a season. I mean, but it was two episodes. That was like Euphoria. Them two little episodes. Okay. They were, we could have did without them. Yeah. But I don't think that's gonna be the case for this. Like I said, this last episode got supposed to have just a ridiculous amount of special effects. So I'm, I'm curious, which means it's all taking place in the upside down. That's all way they, they, they can justify it. Yeah, it's more special know, effects. No, the, the upside down for the be life though. Like I feel like Stranger Things does a lot of foreshadowing. We got test two babies now. And we and what about this Russia thing? 
Right, we like got to, Russia we got to, be in there for three minutes every episode. I'm good on this Russia shit, and clearly they're not. I'm so good on this Russia shit. Man, you know, back in the '80s, Russia was always was always the enemy and everything. Yeah, I, I get you. Think but about it. Even Rocky had to fight the Russian. Yeah, <laughs> Russia's I, definitely always the enemy. Always the enemy. Now I want them to know that's not personal for me. In case you know they you, want to hack me on anything. You want to go to Russia? No, if they want to hack me, you know, listen to your podcast or anything. What I do want. I would know. love it if the Russians listen to my podcast. Every I, listen. If counts. they want to hack anything, they could hack Great Lakes and give it to Boston Lawns. Nah, they're not trying to help the Americans. Or are but, they? But that, this, that, would, that would be a great way to piss off the the government and the economy by helping be. all these Black Americans it come up in the be. world. They don't, like black, they don't like, like black people. They, people. they, they, they <laughs> don't. They don't. But think of how, but how they made America as a whole. That's more. what I'm. Like, you got. Sometimes you got to love your. You got to love your enemy more than you love your other enemy. Yeah. And it helps. The enemy, the enemy of your enemy is always your friend. Basically, that's us. That's, I don't feel like that's consistent, but all right. It, it could be. Yeah. It just depends on what side we want to take. I want to take football. America. You want to help us a little bit? America, but fuck no. Correct. Of course not. No. All right. Uh, but yeah, so we got one deaf papa. Uh, we will see what happens um, with this finale. And we will see you guys in two. You didn't tell us how you felt about the episode, though. I did didn't. You? Oh, I mean, I I felt like no, yeah, because yeah. I was like, this is kind of a whimper. This isn't this yeah. is the the way this ended is not making me like fuck yeah. Oh, let's yeah, let's watch this it. finale. It's just like all right. I mean, it's here. Yeah. 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 I mean, I I, I don't know. We'll see. All right, let's do it. So we just finished the final episode of the, sh- of the season, uh, Piggyback, and I'm going to leave the charge here. I didn't like it. Yeah, I know you did. I saw I your face. I feel like this, <laughs> these last two episodes kind of ruined the season for me. And what I'll say is like um, in the month since the first seven aired, I've been telling everybody season four is the best season of the show. Because it like hit the ground running, there was momentum. Like from episode two, when yeah. Nick when was Christie, that was that the cheerleader. Was, yes, like after yeah, moment first after the first death, the show was yeah, that, gone. that's what I'm saying. Like like the, it was killing people immediately. Like the Hawkins team, they're like okay, they mobilized, and it's like we got to get to the bottom of this, and it just didn't stop until we got to the end of that season, and then things just slowed down, and then I just felt super unsatisfied with the conclusion. I can feel that. Yeah, like early death song like uh, killing kids we, we couldn't understand why you, we saw that like you know clearly the, the basketball coach his grandfather was a clan member so he was ready to get everybody together go hunting for people uh captain yeah captain, basketball coach. captain. oh coach my bad you know i was got done doing i was like captain that? i mean you i, mean, I was like coach like, i was like maybe what's, i got that part yeah i was like <laughs> that was a character no, no. basketball captain two c words <laughs> But yeah, uh, like he was on, on out for the hunt, out for kill. The fact that he just pulled up the old boy house was just like, how you gonna pull up on like practicing and kick my drums in and not get hit with the guitar <laughs> across your face? What? When he pulled up, uh, so he was looking for uh, for Dustin, and he pulled up to, uh, to the. Uh, they was practicing. They were practicing. They was practicing for a little band. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, um, I'm sorry. I thought you were referencing something we just saw. No, no, no. Just as the show okay. as a whole, like and and like like you said, like it picked up from the beginning. But like, I wish somebody would pull up to my crib, talk some shit, and not get to, not get this guitar to the side of the face. Right. It was a lot. of Clearly, that. I'm gonna get away with it because <laughs> y'all just pulled up to my house with pitchforks ten minutes ago. Yeah. Next thing you know, I'm at the army supply. <laughs> <laughs> um. Let's see. It did not need to be four and a half hours. The last episode definitely did not need to be two and a half. We could have got there in a strong hour 15. Hour 15. I appreciate all the good graphics, all these different like storylines that they were trying to work through that we the, didn't need. The $8 million Netflix spent on the episode. Basically. <laughs> like, um, what's the girl who likes other women? Oh. Robin. Yes. yes. Robin's love story, we could have done without. Yeah. That really didn't it do didn't, anything. It didn't do anything. Like, why, were, why was her love interest at the gun store kissing on her boyfriend? 
Right. Bro, we don't care. You finna go to the upside down. All right. But also, it's like, that's the best storyline you can give her. She wants exactly. a boyfriend. Uh, sorry. She wants a girlfriend. That's yeah, that's, yeah. that's that's the. And she the, don't even get it in the end. Like. That's that's the storyline that we give our, our female gay character, our openly gay character. Oh, well, I had to change that to openly. Yeah. Well, I mean, was it because Will was a little more aggressive but also passive with his i mean will was passive on too much stuff this season in my opinion Will passive in every season yeah no i'm just saying like l is clearly getting bullied and you just standing there watching her like bro he like, oh. bro what do we No, he wasn't even doing that he's just looking I silently mean, what's he gonna do I, he can't hit a woman get your ass beat too <laughs> that's what you're gonna do well I don't know. This didn't need to be this long. No, there could have been a lot of cuts. I don't like that Mike is still alive. I don't like that either. It's really weird. It's like, because like episode eight, I was sitting there saying, well, at least it didn't give me the Batman vibes. And then like, then I watched episode nine and I got, got the Batman got, vibes. Got the Batman vibes. I'm like, well, dang, after, you know, after we done hung old girl in the, in, the, in the air cross and everything. And yeah, like the whole town basically exploded and they're like, all right, we got 45 minutes and this is just them talking. <laughs> Like the only thing that happened in that whole section was the fact that uh, Dustin told uh, yeah. told Eddie's uh, uncle, "Hey, he he gone, dog. You quit he hanging that po- hero, though. Quit, quit hanging at the poster, dog. Yeah, <laughs> he gone. We yeah. not a hero. Yeah, he he, he, uh, he went out like a G. Like Eddie's my favorite character this season. Okay, I could I could I could get with that. Yeah, you know, I'm not against that. Eddie definitely. But this, I got a lot of low characters too, though. So I don't know if that. I feel you. The <laughs> math, but, you know, the balancing not there. No, he didn't like a G. He, I mean, he definitely would not like a G. But like, I, I, after I kept like, after they announced somebody was dying, and then like just the pieces started coming together, like they have yet to figure out a way that he can come back into society as not a, as a, not a yeah, murderer. Yeah, it was one yeah. of those. It was one of those like, like honorable well, deaths. Like he, he, at this point, he know like, I can't go back. Can't go back home ever. Let me go ahead. Right. And just, might as well let the upside down bat suck on me a little bit. So yeah, so we got Eddie died and Papa died. And, and I'm still mad Elle didn't kill Papa. Yeah, that's yeah. They 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 stole that from they her. They won't let her be a real killer, and I don't like that. No, she killed those dudes in the helicopter. But they were like they, attacking, attacking her. her. Yeah, like that's, that's, that's still some murder. That's not survival. Yeah, murder. That's, that's, that's everybody she killed. They were trying to attack her. That's survival, bro. That's okay. Okay. Um, because like in real life, if Elle was about their life, when uh when one had a. Uh, What's our girl name? I'm forgetting her name right now. Which who? Max. Max, thank you. Uh, when he had Max, instead of just tossing him across, him, snap that neck, dog. Just yeah. make it quick. Rip That's that whole head off. So, Show over. <laughs> so I just don't get the whole. I have telekinesis powers. Let me just throw you across the room. Like, why does every show? That's what telekinesis is. Yeah, just, like, I'm just gonna throw you. Like, <laughs> it just it just feels so redundant. And you don't have no control though. That's, that's, but that's you have exactly no control what telekinesis your body. is. What do you mean? That's what it is. So basically, you hate shows of telekinesis. Do something interesting with it. Like what? She blew this man to the upside down. One more interest, how much more interest do you want? She got a point. They waited till season four to show us that in a flashback. True. But we know that she blew this man into a different dimension. And that's what that was. Just, I'm telling you, he gave me nothing but pervert vibes. <laughs> like in all those scenes of of, of uh, them in the uh, uh, the, the bunker, I guess. Yeah. But we should also discuss that they didn't even have a real fight scene. Like, they threw each other twice, and then she just yelled, then and he we, died. And we whispered in each other's ears a few times. <laughs> yeah. so oh, sweet nothings. And that's kind of weak, too. Like, when Steve and them was like, all right, we got to kill Vecna's body. You're going to throw one Molotov cocktail. He's going to almost slap you in the face, and then you decide to throw the second one. But they came up there with grenades and everything. Like, yeah. they was really finna blow something up. And she was like, Ugh. And then Steve has a axe. Cut his head off. Hey, oh, he they like, was just standing there. Watch, dog. Marshmallows. Looking at a man on fire. <laughs> and walking towards you. Denzel? No. Nah. Denzel ain't never going out like that. Never. <laughs> never. <sighs> Two Molotov cocktails and then a backflip out the back window at the few shotgun sh- shells. And he walked away. This is. They should really be ashamed of themselves for how they ended the season. Honestly, I would have been fine if the season would have been seven episodes. Like you could have stopped when we, we found out this was one. Yeah, like they could have stopped I'm it. Then. Honestly, for real, I would have been fine even with these two episodes. But y'all could have honestly just waited, give them to me a week before the next season. 
I yeah. would a little, little teaser to keep yeah. you going. Like, yeah. Yeah. No, like, don't give it to me a month after the, this. Give it to me a month right before the yeah. next season. I like, give you that. Yeah, like that would it would have hit way harder. I was so hype after like last month. I'm like, oh man. This Ooh. minute's one. Yeah, but then. Because this was it. This was, like, especially after, like, the whole big re- reveal. Ha ha! This is me. I'm number one. Like, like we kind of guessed it, but, you know, like, but, you know, the reveal is always way yeah. more revealing. Yeah, like, yeah, you just, yeah, that that's what you do. Like, you have, like, we have the shit we got last year. Sorry, last month. And then, because episode eight, that was kind of weak. Like I said. So, it, that would have been a fine enough premiere. It was premiere. episode. Yeah. Yeah, he got what he got a whole episode named after him. It was his episode, but, but I also that, that, I'm just, I just still just feel like it would have hit better as a. Oh, I agree. But, yeah, like I this agree. was not the way to end the season. This, this has been perfect no. how to start a season. This was not yeah. This was not the way to end the season. This has been perfect because now to start you set it. up for what the season is. The, the upside down open. Uh, the upside down, just yeah, definitely just ripped his whole ass across this goddamn <laughs> squashed earth. When old boy uh, Jason, when he just fucking disintegrated in half. Fucking hilarious! I don't know why that was so funny to me. <laughs> that was, worked a, that man. That was like I wasn't. I was thinking he's gonna, either gonna fall in or wake up and get out the way or something like that. I'm like, look, they hit you that hard, bro. I'm gonna go ahead. This do it. Nah, yeah, especially he been you been whooping this man's ass the whole time. The whole Luke, I'm fucking like disappointed <laughs> in you, bro. I am I, disappointed I, in you. I bro. really wish that they could have just had Erica save him. Eric, like. Erica would. I, I, Erica Dakota. Dakota. After I tell you about Erica Dakota's on the show. Yeah, there you go. Then, That's yeah. why I said I, I take that back. See it. Yes. Yeah. Black no, girl magic. But Erica. it's. But it's like no. Like the creators know Erica is a fan favorite. Of course. Yeah. And so like she's right behind Dustin. Right. So why not have her save her brother? Why not? He was getting work like a part time yeah, job. Exactly. Boy. Exactly. You know. You, after Boy, you, if your daddy could saw you getting your <laughs> ass whooped, you getting your ass whooped this hard, you don't have the energy the to do whatever the fuck you the think you're about The rules of the black do. black family say. You cannot even come home with your ass whooped. That's just a flat out rule. You can't. My mama would whoop my ass. I would have came home with a black eye like that. And, and what happened to you? Well, I beat his ass. Oh, okay. okay. It's cool. Yeah. Uh, such, such and such beat my ass today. Oh, really? You better get your ass back out there and whoop his ass right now. It's because Lucas was just so in love with Max that he saw her about to die. He just got the strength to break free from this man. And I don't like that. Right, I'm fine with him hulking out the break free, and I'm, I'm not okay with all of a sudden he got a sucker punch that was just so good it laid this boy out for him to. After get he sick. got smacked with some over the head with a face coffee pot, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, but like you said, took a whole glass pot, and you you up, you just sitting there looking, to continue to get your ass beat. That's what I'm saying. Continue to get your ass beat, and then all of a sudden, no, oh, she's hanging in the air. And you all of a sudden got just one good right to just lay him out for not only for the whole time while you sitting there watching. This man was unconscious. Unconscious, bro. But Eric yeah. and I ran upstairs, came back downstairs. In his defense, he had exerted a lot of energy beating, beating that Lucas ass. You ain't lying about that. Time. In this moment, I done figured it out. Jason ain't slept since uh, Chris died. <laughs> no, you're right. He, he, right. he ain't he slept. Just, he just rushing off of adrenaline. You're yeah. Right. You're right. That's, that's the only that's, that's the, that between that and that vicious ass whooping he gave him. Mm-hmm. That's the only reason why that one punch was able to. It's the only way it makes sense because like now you catching up on four days of sleep. Yeah, dude is tired. Yeah, and um, that, that's all it takes. Ain't no a, a thump of the a good thump on the foe would have laid him out for real. Um. Yeah. I just. I I feel robbed about the situation of where um, you almost give us the death of Max, and then you're like, ha ha, brain dead. That's close enough. No, it's not. They need her body as a vessel in season five or something. Cause she's she's still connected to she, Vecna. Right, definitely. She was a damn. Fourth it's gonna gate. be Will. She's the fourth key. Yeah, it's gonna be Will and uh, Max. They oh. both still connected to him. They're gonna be uh the. And they need, you know, force a number. So they're going to need Will, Max, Lucas. It's got to be between Dustin and Mike. Please take Mike. (laughs) Please take Mike. Let Dustin and Erica be the heroes. Yes, 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 yes. Well, the number's four, so they're going to have to have four. We already got two. Well, we kind of got Steve, too, Loki. Well, no, he he got got, got us four because she was the fourth. Well, I'm talking about in the in season five. You know, four is his magic number. So Max is her body there. Yeah, I'm sure he's gonna use it as. And a, you know, he's still connected to uh, Will. Get that thriller with her. 
And he I already got inside of Nancy Mod and they been Steve. Cause we can't just let that ride. Rub it on the back of Will's neck and stuff. Yeah. But we have we got one more thing to talk about too though. What? The mind flare. Because remember when Vecna was on like the moon? Yeah, just out here walking. Yeah, yeah, yeah just out here walking. Half face. And it was whole nose still. Yeah, he was yeah, a little hurtless. <laughs> yeah, hair and a nose still. That boy about her disintegrating, dog. Literally. He like walked up to that. This boy looking like a, a fried Ken doll. <laughs> <laughs> nope. No no groin area. Just like, that's that's <laughs> done fell off. Nose done fell off. I got some dreads that is kind of moving between my shoulders and shit. That cover your whole body. But still, the mind flayer, like, he still plays some part. So I don't know if. Did that, Vecna I'm, consume that, I'm, the I'm still mind confused flayer? about the, the whole black smoke thing. Yeah, or did the mind flayer consume Vecna more? Well, he when he was talking about it, he made it seem as if he took control yeah. of it. Yeah, Vec, uh, mind flayer was just minding his own business, and then he's like, "Okay, I am about to make you an extension of myself." But then, so two things: they but, had part of like mind flayer particles in Russia, so we still don't know what Russia was doing with them. We have zero ideas there. Yeah, that storyline. The whole Russia storyline is just weird. It, they, makes it no didn't. Sense. It didn't come. It didn't. Only thing you got from it was like Hopper's alive and like, and he's back. Like they could have just had that same thing without any of the the monsters. They could just. We knew Russia had something to do with the Upside Down. I understand that, but like they and didn't the do anything with that storyline, so they could have just had but they're it. They're still doing we, something because now they, they have the monsters. So, so they we killed know, them all. Hmm. They killed them all. Well, they were doing something. They had them in their Mewtwo cages. Wait, well, yeah, like, but, they were doing something with them for a reason. But that's also, also, also us assuming they have more than one place with these monsters as well. More than, yeah, that's But they could, though, because they had the spot in, in, out there in Hawkins. Yeah, they were in Hawkins. So. Like, they, I feel like they teleporting back and forth now. They probably <laughs> got their own little gate and just, you know, well, two hops. Sitting there at the mall still. Mm. Yeah. Well, yeah that, one, that one was 30 floors underground. They like, probably just, just like a, a bunker, like a... Like L's in? Yeah. Yeah. Random door. Yeah. Doo, doo, doo. So, what are you guys hoping for season five? I need Max to be dead. I need Will like, to be real, dead. Like, I real mean, dead. I, need, I need Mike to die. Too. I need, actually, I need everybody but Erica and Dustin to die. And Steve. Steve can live. I like Steve. Steve gonna die because he got bit by the bats. No, Steve is clearly fine now. Two days so. later, still out here. No, no, remember it. I said, so in the next, in the next season, four he, is oh, his number. He been bit. He did it. I can understand. I, yeah. get, I get what you're going. That, that's a, it's we, gonna be we, him we, and we Nancy. We ain't going to that. Let's put that one on the board. So it's gonna be him and Nancy. Him, Nancy. Got Nancy. Bit too? No, remember the, he was already in her mind. True, true. So it's him, Nancy, Max, and Will. Ooh. Because they all have a connection to I'm him in some it. kind of way. I would like that, but we're gonna get a happy ending. Sadly. I mean, the only person I need to see walk away is L. Well, you, yeah. I mean, they had a, a perfect uh, opportunity to like take out some season oneers, and they didn't. But Ill gonna die next season. Everybody else gonna survive. I could see that. I can see that. She gonna sacrifice herself for everybody else. No, because the moment she tries to sacrifice her, it's gonna be like how it was in Endgame with uh. Everybody just with, gonna with, say with, take uh, me. With Black shit. Widow and, uh, and Hawkeye, we gonna keep exchanging who gonna die. I I feel like if they didn't do it at the end of season three, a. a an okay ending for Elle would be that she loses her powers and that's how the show ends. She but right we down. already did that. And yeah, yeah right exactly. Back. She got the mugs back with a VHS tape. Yeah. She did. She did. She did, dog. Um, let's see. I can only wonder what Jason Bourne was out here getting as far as his uh they gave him a DVD. <laughs> Thumbstick. What do you guys think is gonna happen? I don't know. I got I got I, I, I I already, I, I would agree with you already as far as like Will and Max for sure, but you, you definitely bring strong points with the other two, so I'm with that now. You got to do that because yeah. of Nancy's love story too. Yeah, because she had her love triangle. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, Steve never gets with anybody. Yeah, he just died stoner. No, Steve. Steve. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. He just died Steve then. Yeah. That's not, that's even more unfortunate. Yeah, because Steve was the football uh, captain. He was. He's the foot. F season one, he was a football captain, and, and she was the cheerleader. Okay. That's why when her and um, and, okay, that's why when it was weird, like when her and um, when uh, her and Will's brother got together, cause her, like this just you know night and just yeah. Okay, okay, okay. 
I don't know. Like, I'm not super hyped for season five. Like, this is a whimper. Uh, but things you would have been hyped for season five if they would have just yeah, if it, it was just is. seven episodes, seven yeah. episodes, and get you these two episodes next year. But like, I don't know. How about how about we we just do something real low? I would like the parents to find out about the upside down. Uh, this is Who are you reaching? This is this is I feel like this is like low stakes here. It's been full season and they ain't realized no, no, they can't but, but now the upside down is here. Right. They gotta know. You they saw it in the sky. Everybody Bro, came outside and looked. They've been living in Hawkins. They people been disappearing every day. You yeah, mean hey, something ain't them? I'm still confused when the whole ball of people formed in season three. So government just gonna come through with that uh men in black. <laughs> <laughs> Man, they gonna shoot them up out of there right quick, and they gonna be like, "You never lived there." You know what? Black dude is still alive. But yeah, uh, that military general? dude. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that was unresolved. Yeah, we don't know what happens with Paul Reiser at all. He probably getting his ass beat. Yes. Well, yeah. Way worse. And, than, and we worse, know way worse than the black dude. Was. And we know that's what that man liked to do. Clearly, <laughs> he about to put like a hot poker up his ass or something. Dude. Like yeah. the, the worst of torture. Yeah. I don't know. So that's that's my hopes. Just I feel like that's a small ask, even though it might not happen. Because it's like I don't. What are we doing here? We're, it's very clear we're not killing kids. Apparently, even though these kids like twenty five years old they now. Killed, they killed Eddie. That's not what I meant, Joe. They killed Eddie. Season one kid. That's what oh, I'm saying. No, a, a child, you quote want, unquote child. You want like a Walking Dead when they kill Carl m- moment. What Carl died. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Carl did. Yeah. <laughs> that's what you. That's what. That's what you want out of this. You want to see a kid get shot in the I face. I don't. Cause Netflix like, making too much money off of this for that. <laughs> yeah. Right. This is the final season. I don't want them anybody to get shot. But like, this is a show where like creatures from another fucking dimension. Like, you want to see my face get eaten? We off. can. We can be. They was definitely actually eating faces. They were eating faces. We, we can get creative with this. The shit. fact that Hopper out here is out here choking and like, got a whole sword fight. Zoro. Big gladiator vibes. So, yeah. Dumb. <laughs> Hopper as Zoro out here it is just so dumb. Let me slide and chop your arm and your head off, boy. Yeah. Who are you? you, boy? You ain't got no ankles no more. You are here sliding, <laughs> never. But that makes the no whole Russia thing. Yeah, the whole Russia thing just makes no, no sense. sense, right? Why did Hopper need to be alive? I asked this once more. They want to tie him to Russia in some kind no, of no. Because what happened was he was about to do Black Widow, and they needed to make sure we keep that popularity up. So now we all are, look. All our, our cast members are here doing big things. Ghostbusters, right? Sherlock Holmes, Enina, e- e- the Black e- Boy was e- on Mina? something, right? Yeah, he wasn't something. I don't know. He, he was, was on Netflix, a, and something he was on, on a BET movie. Oh, the new edition. Oh, he was. Uh, was he Bobby Brown? Mm, I don't think he was Bobby. He might have been though. I forgot what his name was. Oh, he was in that. Yeah, Concrete Cowboys. He was in Concrete Cowboys. Yeah, um, that wasn't bad. Um, nah, nah, this ain't it. Joey getting left behind. This ain't it. We left behind. He was Ricky Bell. It's not working. It's not working. Yeah. Uh, what? We can't scroll. Yeah. No. No. Who was Ricky Bell? From New Edition. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you said he was in that show. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the show Ricky Bell on NBC. <laughs> Um. Yeah, Th- these last two episodes weren't it. We'll we'll see what happens next. Any final thoughts before we get out of here, guys? Final thoughts. Season four, I give it a. Season four, volume one. Volume one, volume one. I give a a, a nine out of ten. I'm a second it. Yeah. Yeah. First seven episodes, nine out of ten. And if these two episodes I would have got that I got today, if I would have got those next year, I would have probably gave them an eight. Mm, I couldn't give my eight next no, year. Next year I would have gave my eight. But is it? Are these included in season five, or are these a part of season four? I wouldn't if, if I wouldn't if I was saying next year I wouldn't include in either season. I would have had just two random episodes to give me just to kind of get the. Uh, they could have stretched it out and been like, "Here's the Christmas special." Or, uh, <laughs> yeah, just, just something yeah. like just like I, just something to kind of keep the momentum and keep people talking about it because this by December we definitely won't be talking about this by December. I'm sorry by, by tomorrow by Friday Talk by tomorrow. I got you. And now I you, feel like people are going to talk about it, though. But not for the right reasons. Right. But as long as you talk about it, Netflix don't care. Netflix. Because you, you already streamed it. They got their bag. Yeah. Think about it like this. And. Chatting watched, walk, watched Walking, Th- walk, uh, Dan- uh, Walking Dead in season four. And it's for, you know, similar reasons. But Chad is going to watch season five. 
Not a, The Walking Dead. No, but he's gonna watch season five of Stranger Things and Netflix know it. Well, yeah, that yeah. yeah, yeah. That's only because at this point, Chad, is, 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 you're invested, and this is the end, th- and they know it. That is that is it. But okay, but that's the thing, though. Also, it's like it, I'm not this type of customer, but some people are gonna be like, "All right, well, I will re up my Netflix next year." True, and that's not making them money. I agree. But most people are going to say only because Netflix is like so social. So people watch Netflix about because people, no, other people talk about, about it on social media. And now you can talk to other people and join the conversation. Right. Yeah. For two days. So right. you're not going to, you're going to cancel, but then, you know, you're going to be like, everybody going to talk about social media. I, I, I wouldn't cancel. I've never canceled my Netflix subscription for any show. I had canceled. to cancel for six months when I was in college. Chad, Chad bought me a, a gift card for Christmas when I was in college for Netflix for three months. Then I was broke, so I had to cancel. So I got a job out of college. Was well, Netflix dropping content like they are now? No, nah, they they own content. Was they were producing was, the content. Was so there was an original content back this then. This was 2014. Probably Christmas not. 2013. 13. Yeah. I mean, this show came out what? 14? This came out and no, this came. It had to be 15 or 16 because I was living in my own place. Yeah, 2016 was season one. Yeah. Okay. And so I feel like Netflix, this was Netflix's first production that put them on the map. If it or wasn't one of their beginning black. productions. Where's yeah. That, that came first. Yeah. yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. But I feel like this was. Yeah. Like. This was. This ended up being bigger. Like if you say what are Netflix's top shows. Orange is the New Black. Stranger Things. Squid Game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can't think. Money of- Heist probably up there. Okay. Money Heist was pretty big. Yeah. I mean, they did pretty decent. Well, that's just a movie, though. I don't yeah. know what that is. But I'm going to say Netflix, Netflix, I mean, you. Stranger Things is probably number one. You. You you was high up there. But I'm going to say Stranger Things is number one and Orange is New Black is two. I can at see this that. point. For me, it would probably probably be at the same because I don't really, I, didn't, I only watched Orange is New Black for a little bit. I couldn't really get into it. I can't get into it either. And look at us making a podcast about Stranger Things. I love Stranger Things, though. That, that shit's good. Yeah. But I know a lot of people who don't watch Stranger Things, though, too. And they after think, these two it's, episodes, it's... I'm not mad at them. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't gotten these yet, though. Yeah. It was good. It's good it was job. cool. Like, I'm not, I'm upset, but I'm not upset at the same time. Like, that last episode, I, if we could have just stopped there after Max should have died and just let me think she was dead, I would have been probably a lot better. I feel like yeah. this is like a transition since it was supposed to end. I was like, oh, we just got so much to talk about. But they're like, how do we transition into, you know, this second part? Because it was about to end. They should have gave it to us in December and then gave us season five in June. Yeah. Yeah. No argument there. Hopefully, hopefully they shot them all together since they knew. I feel like they did because I think they had to do a COVID bubble. Yeah, I think they did. So, so I feel like they. I hope that's like every Netflix show because you just never know if you're you're ever going to get the full show anyway. And I would hate that, like, for example, Cowboy Bebop was. I loved it. I know a lot of people didn't really like it. I really hope they filmed the whole thing all at once. Just like, just so I could hope in, in a random year when they say, you know what, here's the second half. We just been hanging on to it. I doubt that. <laughs> I, I got hopes and dreams. <laughs> hopes and dreams. But all right. Um. Yeah. So thanks for listening to us ramble about Stranger Things, and it's on Netflix if you care. Thank you so much for listening. Please rate, like, and review our podcast on your platform of choice. If you have any feedback, please email us at weusetotalkpod at gmail.com. Like our Facebook page, We Used to Talk About This at Work, and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at We Used to Talk Pod.